All right, my name is Christopher Dalton. I'm an actor based in London. I'm an alumni from the Bristol Old Vic Theater School. I graduated in 2021 with my MFA in acting. I'm making this video because I wanna help you get accepted into drama school. This is a video that I wish I, I had access to when I was applying. I know that it would have helped me. So I'm going to give you seven insider tips that if you apply them, will give you an edge. Some of these you probably have considered, but I think there are a few that you may not have. So let's, uh, let's get started. Number one, do your research and read everything. What are you looking for in a drama school? Are you looking for a school that has more of a classical training approach? A school that focuses on a particular acting technique? Maybe you don't care. Maybe you just wanna get into any school and just get up and act, and that's completely okay too. Ha! Boom, baby! I know for me, I was looking for a school that was one, based in the UK, and two, was a one-year course. Now, once you've narrowed down what schools you wanna apply for, read everything on that course, on their website or any programs that they offer. This was literally the difference between me getting in and not getting into school. I did not have an undergraduate degree before applying, so I did not think that I could get a master's degree. But there was one sentence on the BOFTIS website that said, we would normally expect an actor to have an undergraduate degree before applying, but if they don't, we will consider them if they have sufficient experience. And because I read that, I applied. Had I not read that, I would not have applied. So read everything, because it can literally make the difference between you getting in or not. Tip number two is reach out to alumni. Once you've decided on which schools you want to apply for, go on the websites and try to contact the actors. Usually they'll have a personal website on there or uh, a link to their spotlight. If not, you can usually find them on social media. I found that the actors I reached out to were pretty gracious. If you hang on, I will kill you. I reached out to maybe 10 and five or six replied. The kind of questions you want to ask are, what was your overall experience at the school? What were your likes and dislikes? If I, if I do get in, uh, where should I live? Uh, the, it's these kind of questions that helps give you a more well-rounded, educated, and an informed overview on the school. This is a place that you're going to invest a lot of time and money in. If you do this, it's going to give you an edge and it's going to help you make a better decision. Tip number three is pick active pieces that play to your strengths. Now, normally an actor will have a contemporary piece, a classical piece, and a song. So maybe your strength is you're, you're, you're funny by nature. You just make people laugh without even trying. Maybe you, you're a little darker. You have a little more mystery to you. I'll drown more sailors than the mermaid shall. Whatever your strengths are, Make sure that those monologues uh, highlight those qualities in you. So if you're more of a funny person, maybe your contemporary piece is funny, and then maybe your classical piece is more of a dramedy, and there is some comedy in it with some drama. I know as actors, we like to think that, you know, we can do everything, and we want to do everything, and sometimes we can. But if, if, if we shoot with a shotgun, we may miss the target, just so be more specific. What are your strengths, and make sure it highlights your piece highlights those strengths. And the same with your song. I know for me, I, I'm not a singer, but I, I got some uh, vocal coaching and I picked a piece that, that really wasn't about singing, but more about storytelling. And even if you do have a good voice, make sure that when you are singing, you are focusing on telling the story, not just singing the song. Um, and here is a, uh, here's a really good insider tip. Pick a monologue that is active and not reflective. An active monologue is, is a monologue where the character is experiencing something in the moment. Something is actually happening to them. A reflective monologue is a monologue when the character is reflecting on something that happened to them. This is more difficult to do. So pick an active monologue. It's more engaging for the viewer and and it's less work to do when it's, when it's active versus reflective. Tip number four 
is practice your audition in front of people. Now, this is not about getting somebody's opinion, although you can. This is about getting your pieces up on their feet and getting used to performing in front of a live audience. This will help you with your nerves and this will help you be more confident. In addition, practice auditioning online and on Zoom too. I know some of the drama school auditions today do audition online. That was the case for me for a few of the schools I auditioned for. So make sure obviously that your, your camera is good and the lighting's good and they can hear you. And um, this is all about preparing as much as we can when we walk into that audition room. And you're gonna be prepared because you're watching this video. Tip number five is take your time at the audition and have fun. When you walk in, this is your time. You've worked so hard, you've made so many sacrifices, you've put all this time, effort, money, and energy into preparing. If you feel like they're rushing you, just say, hey, uh, can I have a second? Were you rushing or were you dragging? Answer! Rushing. Take all the time you need. This is your moment, this is your time. And when you're telling these stories, you're, telling, you're performing your monologues, you're singing the song, have fun, enjoy it. If you're enjoying it, if you're having fun, the viewer will enjoy it. The viewer will have fun. Now at these uh, auditions, there's usually a interview portion. My advice to you about that would be just, just be yourself. Um, you don't have to be interesting. You don't have to try anything. Just, just do it. Just be a human being and be yourself. You're enough. Tip number six is do the same thing if you get the recall. So congratulations, you got the recall, they liked what you did, and they wanna see more. It's important to keep in mind that some drama schools do not have recalls. Some just have one round, like Boftis, where I, where I went. But most drama schools do have recalls, and the purpose of this is to see your versatility. Can you take notes? Yes, you did the monologue this way, but can you do it that way? Don't overthink this. Don't go in there and, and, do, and do something completely 180 from what you did in the last audition. Have fun with it, enjoy it again, and just do it and tell the story. Tip number seven is learn from your experience. What did you learn about yourself as an actor during this whole process? And how can you use that knowledge to improve and get better? Now, if you didn't get in, guess what? You always got next year, or you got that audition next week. Just keep going, keep auditioning, keep learning, and you will get better. I was turned down by every school except for one. All it takes is one yes. One yes can change your life. Yes. yes. Say it again. Yes. yes. Remind yourself on why you are doing this. Why do you want to be an actor? Why are you an artist? And I think the answer is you love it. And that's the best answer. Your love for storytelling and this craft is what's gonna keep you going. So I hope this video is helpful to you and hopefully um, you got some uh, insight from it. If you have any more questions, just leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer. Thank you.